hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you some beautiful looking nail extensions as you can see on the screen this is what we are going to create today and this is acrylic extension with a little bit of 3d acrylic flower and a stone placement so this is what we are going to do today so if you are here for the first time consider subscribing to my channel and now let's begin with the tutorial for this tutorial I have my model Seema, she is also my student and she has beautiful natural nails and we are going to do a dry manicure first and as part of the dry manicure as you all know if you are following me for a while you know what to do with the dry manicure part. I am using an orange wood stick to push back her cuticle and if you don't have orange wood stick you can use metallic pusher and uh, once I am done with pushing back the cuticles I am going to use my electric file to do the rest of the dry manicure. Manicure. the reason I am using an electric file is because it's fast and efficient and it gives like a really clean cuticle area and which will eventually help our extensions to last longer the better you do the cleanup the longer your extensions will last so here I am using a flame bed from the diamond bits uh, collection and I'm using a red abrasive mark uh, uh, bit because here we don't have like too much dead skin or anything so red abrasive mark is the most ideal uh, bit here and when I am doing the left side of the nails, I am using it in the forward mode and when I am using it on the right side, I am using the reverse mode. And the speed of the machine is 16,000 RPM. Uh, the speed and the kind of bit you are using is very important when it comes to uh, you know e-file manicure or the dry manicure with an electric file so i have removed all the dead skin around the skin and then now i'm using the bit to push back the skin a little bit more so that i have like a more nail plate to work with and make sure that you're not hurting the client when you're doing this um, the entire service it should be it has to be pain free uh, so you try your best not to hurt the clients if you don't have an electric file you can also use a hand file and once i'm done with that uh, i'm switching the bit into a mandrel bit with sand band and uh, the uh, the sand band that i'm using is a 180 grid sand band you can also uh, find 220 240 uh, sand bands and make sure you're using the right grid when you're using a sand band i am um, uh, you know using a file to blend the sharpness of the sand band the edges because if i touch the skin of the client and if i do this uh, it won't hurt them so that's why i used uh, you know hand file to uh, slightly remove that sharpness around the tip of that sand band and then i'm using it to remove the surface shine of the nail plate so when i'm doing this my machine is at the 3000 rpm speed or you can go maximum up to 4000 no pressure at all you just let the bit uh, run over the nail plate do not over file okay so be very gentle let the bit do the work and you just have to like uh, you know manage where it is where it is going that's it if you if you are not comfortable using sand band you can obviously use a hand file with a grid of 180 220 or 240 depending how healthy your client's natural nails are okay so uh, i almost finished all the fingers and now i'm going to use a hand file to just roughly shape the free edge of the natural nails Now I'm using a hand file again just to roughly file and shape the free edge of the nail blade. Whenever we do extension, make sure we are trimming down the natural nail as short as we can. Uh, here she doesn't have like longer free edge but still I'm just roughly shaping the corners and uh, the file I'm using that is a thin uh, file so that I can you know easily go and file down the uh, edges of the nails. After this, dust off uh, uh, using a brush and then you can uh, clean the nail plates using alcohol wipe and lint free. I think I forgot to record that part. However, um, that is another step we need to follow. Now the next step is what I'm doing is I'm applying dehydrator. So dehydrator basically removes any remaining oil moisture from your nail plate, which is again important and uh, don't apply too much. Uh, so if you have like really oily uh, nails, then maybe you can do two times 
times uh, otherwise one time is enough and immediately it evaporates and followed by uh, dehydrator you need to apply a thin layer of primer as well primer is basically to create a better addition between the product and the nail plate and now what I'm doing is I'm prepping the foam and I'm going to fit the foam so uh, for the almond nails I'll be using a foam to sculpt the nails so I basically prepped the foam trimmed it and shaped it and then I attached the foam unfortunately while recording this the process was a little out of frame so I do not have that entire thing clearly recorded here however I have another video on my channel which you can watch and where I have like detailed explained in detail how to fit a foam so I'll pin that video link somewhere on the screen now I fitted the foam and it's time for us to apply the product so I'm using acrylic powder and monomer so this particular product is from a brand called Ranara and it's a EMA monomer it doesn't have like a too strong smell however if you're a beginner this is a little fast setting so uh, if you have a little bit of experience it will be easy for you to work with this product but if you're really a beginner then you might struggle a little bit uh, but it's one of my favorite brands in India and I poured some monomer and, and then I dipped my brush into the monomer just to make sure that the brush is ready uh, I'm using an acrylic Kolinsky brush from the brand called cards and I think it's a number 10 brush I prep the brush and then I'm ready to start uh, with your, my application process okay so let's start with the application process I personally prefer um, doing a three bead application technique uh, sometimes if I don't want longer nails then I'll uh, stick with two bead application so I always start building the free edge area so here I picked up a medium size bead and I placed it right around the free edge area and then gently I'm going to push it to the sides and then I'm going to connect it with the natural nails free edge corner okay as you can see that's how I connected with the free edge and once I have that connection built and then I pull down the extra product and then I create the you know length and the size I wanted to and uh, this when you do this uh, don't rush yourself just take your time and do it and again you have to make sure the product you are using that has you, you should be familiar with the setting time of that product okay so when you know that uh, you know how fast or slow you can work with it and here like I said this is a little fast setting product but still uh, we get enough time to do it uh, but like I said if you're like an absolute beginner you might struggle a little bit but uh, if you have like a little bit of experience it's very easy to work with so I'm going for like an almond shape so when we are using a foam uh, it's you who is going to basically create the length size shape of your nails uh, in whereas when we are using a plastic ABS, AB, uh, ABS plastic tip you actually have like a base built right you are attaching that plastic tip onto the nails and then you are applying the product so you already have like a basic shape however when you are using a foam you are the one who is going to build that uh, length size shape and everything of the nails so that is the little tricky part here um, so if you wanted to learn uh, how to use foams and do like a perfect application I do offer classes so you can join one of my classes and learn it I have crash courses if you have little bit of experience then the crash courses is like a one day session uh, like four to six hours and I'll be showing you like all the tips and tricks and then if you want like uh, want to learn like from the very beginning uh, then we have like a full classes if you wanted to know more about it uh, my Instagram link is in the description box you can uh, get in touch with me okay so I now here I laid a two bead application and I finished two beads and now this is the cuticle bead so cuticle bead when you are applying the cuticle bead uh, it's very important the consistency of the product uh, where you are placing the bead and how you are moving the product all three parts are very very important I know this part is not like very clear I'm going to show you one more time on a in, on the next clip so you can see uh, whenever we do the first nail it's it's not going to be like super perfect um, that uh, you know the starting trouble so it always always um, the first nail is the baddest one and then the last nail that you build is the best finished uh, uh, nails okay but that's okay um, I always start from either the ring finger or the index finger I do not start from thumb or the pinky finger because um, pinky is small and uh, thumb is like the biggest uh, nails on your hand so 
uh, we don't want to start with bigger ones or the tiniest one so that's the reason i always start either from the index finger or from the ring finger and when i'm applying the forms i do not apply forms on all fingers i do one by one because the client weight uh, will move their hands and the form placement might you know uh, change and then there is no way you can fix it you have to remove it and use a new form so rather i prefer doing one by one so i finished one the first nails and uh, now i'm going to show you one more nail so you can see it clearly now i'm doing i'm doing the index finger again i picked up a bead and i placed it around the free edge area not on top of the nails even if you're placing it on top of the nail still it's fine but uh, i personally prefer this way i uh, spread it and make that connection with the nail plate and then i build up the shape and uh, you know size or whatever length i wanted to do and then i play with the product so this is how we do i can watch uh, acrylic application all day long i really love the way we sculpt the nails okay so that's what i'm doing um, i'm just going to let you guys watch this and uh, i'll come back when i do the cuticle application now we are going to do the third bead which is the cuticle bead and uh, like i said the size of the bead the consistency of the bead where you are placing i always leave a little space and then i gently push the uh, product using my brush very gently you don't leave the brush marks and the product will move on its own close to the skin and then i just blend it and build the apex so uh, whenever you do this do not put too much pressure with the brush be very gentle otherwise you might uh, not be able to build the apex and you also might push the product onto the skin which is again wrong uh, so but this is how i do it and uh, that's how i build the height apex and all even if it's a little extra it's okay we can file it down um, eventually you will know how much height you need to build but uh, uh, that is fine but we need to have that right apex built okay now we have finished uh, product application on all the nails and i wanted to uh, say something i made a small mistake doing this set and if you guys can figure out what is that mistake then let me know in the comment section and the right answer i'll pin it on the to uh, top of my comment table and let's see if you can figure out what mistake i made and it's a it's a medium to higher risk <laughs> mistake that i made and let's see if we can figure it out so this is how i remove the forms i open the flaps and then i pinch it and it will come off sometimes it will be like a little tight so just be very gentle when you are taking it off uh, don't hurt the clients okay next i'm going to file and shape uh, so as you can see i already have uh, an almond shape but we need a fine tuning so for that i'm using a 100 180 grit i'm using the 180 grit side if you want to remove so much product in one go then you use the 100 side because what that is a rough side so um, i'm going to gently file and uh, you know refine the almond shape here so that's what i'm going to do Filing almond nails are a little tricky and another uh, pro tip when you are uh, trying to sculpt an almond shape you pinch the foam a little bit more so this video i recorded this uh, like uh, at least like four five months ago um, but then i uh, you know eventually uh, 
uh, changed the way I fit the form. So now when I do the almond nails, it's it's much more refined. So this time it wasn't like 100% perfect. But um, when you are using a form to build the almond nails, you have to pinch it and make it like a really you know pointy kind of more um, uh, tight around the free edge area. And also I might make another video. Uh, soon so that you know what I'm talking about but yeah almond nails are a little tricky especially to maintain that you know shape uh, both the side shape whenever you look from the back you will always find a little bit of uh, you know here and there flaws but I really admire the people who can make like perfect almond nails especially those Russian uh, nail techs they do the best almond nails I guess uh, but anyways uh, I'm finishing the final uh, shaping and once this is done I'm going to do the top filing and shaping and buffing so I'm not going to bore you with that entire process so let's uh, skip into the um, nail art part Once I'm done with the filing, shaping and buffing, then I'm going to use a um, alcohol wipe to clean uh, all the testers and everything around the nails. You can also ask the client to wash their uh, hands at this point without soap or anything, just with running water they can wash their hands so that all that powder, dust and everything is gone from the nail plate. And then you can start with your nail art. So for the nail art, I picked up a bunch of pastel colors. I'm using Vanellisa's, um, you know, pastel colors, and I'm also using a liner brush, a longer one, because I'm going to uh, create a French line, not a complete French, but a French curvy line. So this is another task where I don't even breathe when I do this, uh, because. Uh, you know in Hindi we say Nazar Hati Durgatna Ghati so we have to be very careful with the drawing and uh, so that's what I'm doing this is the real time it's not fa uh, fast forward it's that's how uh, that's how much time and concentration it takes so I use different colors on different nails and then the 3d flowers that I'm going to make is also going to be the same color as I'm using here so once I uh, do the lining part what I'm going to do is I'm going going to uh, apply a matte top coat because the nails that I'm going to do is a matte finished nail and with this acrylic color uh, that matte finish was like looking really amazing so that's exactly what we are going to do I'm using Madame Glam's matte top coat and I'm going to apply it and I'm going to seal the design then I'll be doing the acrylic 3d flower so uh, I wasn't sure so at first I was just going to leave it as it is uh, so I have like a few pictures and videos of this particular nail design he, you can leave it as it is also it's still a design but I added a little extra with the 3d flowers so this was the finished look with just with that French lines and I think this itself is a pretty design okay so for the acrylic uh, flowers I am using the same color as the lines that the color uh, color lines that I used uh, so the acrylic powders I'm using are from model ones they have like really beautiful pastel acrylic powders and I have a bunch of them so that's what I'm using and I'm using a number three acrylic Kolinsky brush here so I place those acrylic uh, beads small round beads and then I let it sit there for a couple of seconds so that it can it's not too uh, rainy texture and it's not too tight also it's in between and then I use the same brush to press down and uh, you know create that petal so I'm going to show you one more where uh, you know you can see clearly so this is a pink acrylic and I think this particular one was from a brand called glam and glitz uh, it's one of my favorite uh, pink acrylic powder and uh, as you can see I picked up small beads just using a little monomer I picked up uh, three beads and then I placed it next to each other and then I'm giving it a little time so that it can reach that uh, you know particular consistency so that I can press it down if it's too wet then it will stuck onto the brush if it's too dry then it won't give that perfect petal finish so uh, I'm being very gentle here and I'm uh, you know creating that uh, petal uh, 
I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing myself. You see, I'm taking my time and using the brush to gently press down and create the petal. Okay, so um, uh, this way you create the acrylic uh, flowers, and then I'm going to add some stones at the center just to give it like a uh, final look. This is the final finish after adding the stones and I think I again missed that part but this is how the nails looks like so what do you guys think you like it I really love the final finish and I'm wondering if you're able to figure out the mistake I made here that's a big big mistake and if you did don't forget to leave that uh, you know mistake in the comment section uh, the first one who posts that comment and I'll be pinning your comment and uh, with that uh, that's it for today's tutorial and i'll see you soon on my next video as you know please like share comment um, uh, and subscribe to my channel i'll uh, be posting more videos on extension if you want any particular tutorial on something that let me know uh, all my socials are in the description box so and all the products i used are also listed in the description box if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask uh, it in the comment section and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching